got a bird's eye view. This is awesome. Well, so we just had the tour and there's something very interesting unfolding here. One of the first things you have to answer in any manufacturing organization, if you want to see some improvement in terms of throughput is where's the bottleneck? So I'm going to try and capture this as best as I can. And, and, and I want everybody who's watching this video to play along and tell me where you think the bottleneck is. So here we go. This is the machining area. We've got a, a beam saw over there. We've got a nested machine, a point to point, another point to point. We've got a vertical CNC, and we got two monster edge benders over here. And this is kind of their staging area for the machining side. So million dollar question, do we see a bottleneck here? Hit pause right in the comments. Do you see a bottleneck? For now, I'll make my way down to assembly and we'll look in the assembly department. So here's the incoming carts for the assembly department right here where these professionals are just working by. Look at them go. And four benches. And those are the parts at each bench. Well, that was the assembly area. Any any hint of a bottleneck happening there? Push pause, comment, think about it, and then keep watching. Next up, shipping. This is where they wrap, strap, pack everything, make it perfect. All right, so I know it was a quick, you know, a quick view, but did you see a bottleneck? And the short, the short answer is not really. So um, a, a bottleneck would look like, um, I, I mean, a mountain of parts or a mountain of carts or people complaining like there's no room. And, and so you would see this pile of stuff right before the bottleneck. Something like this. This is from another factory we were at and you can see massive piles of parts. As we walk through each of those stations, it, you know, like there was little piles, but nothing that couldn't be cleared out in a day or two. And, and typically speaking, before the bottleneck, it's like a month worth of work. So what does that tell you? Where do we keep looking for this bottleneck? Because there's a bottleneck. Every factory has a bottleneck, one bottleneck, not 50, one. If you think you have 50, you just have labor misallocation, which is another video. So where do we go? If you're thinking, we got to go up front. The bottleneck is in the office. You might be right. You have a 50% chance that that's right. Actually, in woodworking, you have like a 95% chance that that's work. That's right. But there's one other spot that it could still be. I'm dying to think of a way to leave you hanging on this one because I really, I really want to evoke some thought here. We were at a factory once and it took two weeks and a lot of luck to figure it out. So you're getting all that for free right now. Let me give you the backstory. The factory was similar to this. No apparent or obvious bottlenecks. We'd wander around the office. Everything seemed calm. It, it didn't seem like there was a bottleneck up there and we would just be bouncing back and forth between the office and the factory. Where's the bottleneck? Where's the bottleneck? What is going on? And it wasn't until the person who releases orders to the shop open the drawer in their desk and by some fluke i was standing there and i looked in the drawer i was like what is all of that it was a stack of paper eight inches thick and he's like oh these are the orders waiting to go to the shop i'm like what so if that stack of paper was physical parts it would have been super easy to see because it would have been a mountain six feet tall we would have need another building to put stuff in so what we learned quickly was the bottleneck was the first operation in the shop. So the office wasn't the bottleneck. They were processing the orders fast enough, but the saw that they had at the time wasn't pulling orders into the shop fast enough. So there was no piles in the shop anywhere because everyone else was consuming the parts. There was no piles in the office because the orders were flowing through 
the pile was hidden in a drawer in a desk and the minute we realized that we, we just cranked up the, the saw and and you know off we went so long story short about bottlenecks lesson is be careful of the first operation in the process on the factory floor if that's your bottleneck it's a hard one to find well not anymore because now you know <laughs>